Hello everybody, it's Heather from Willow Soaps and I'm here to finally cut this root beer float soap that has been a problem child since I started it. So it's been three or four days and it's still soft but I'm going to go ahead and cut it. So. It's quite soft. I did get some swirls in there. Still, I don't know what the deal is with this. I think I miscalculated something, but it smells good. I could say that. It's quite sticky on the inside. I don't know if it's because I. I'm used to using sodium lactate, or what is going on? I will definitely be doing things differently next time with this fragrance and recipe. I usually love doing Mountain Pour together with CP, but this just did not pan out the way it should have. At least it didn't all turn brown. That's a plus. So I was supposed to have a show today, but oh, the weather, it was 80 degrees the day before yesterday, today it's in the 40s. And the weather here just absolutely kills me. I'm in the Cumberland Basin, so every allergen on the face of the earth settles here, it seems. I woke up this morning and I couldn't talk. That was about six hours ago or so. I'm going to do another brine bar today. I'm, I redid the recipe. I don't understand the reason behind the lye reduction. I don't think you need it. So I'm redoing that and I'm redoing the oils because I want the bar to be as white as possible and I'm going to do it in the pot swirl with French green clay and I think I'm going to mix poppy seeds or cranberry seeds in for some exfoliation or maybe mix them both together. I don't I haven't decided yet but I'm going to work on that next. And then I'm going to do, I think I'm going to call it Seas of Blue. Another end cut. Not very pretty. Hopefully once I clean them up, when they've hardened up sufficiently, I can say differently. But right now it's definitely not my favorite soap in the world. I mean the difference between that and my tobacco caramel, if you watch, is night and day. sent a sample to one of my soaping friends. I sent a two-day mail and I think I sent it on the 7th or maybe the 6th and he still hasn't gotten it and I looked it up and it said it's been delayed in Memphis for some reason. I pay almost six dollars to send it two days and it's still in Memphis. And it's going to California. I mean come on. It's just crazy. I'm going to show you how the salt bars are coming along. This is why I'll show you why I say I don't think the lye reduction is necessary. They are looking quite pretty actually. The since it's been saponifying, it the colors have changed. It's not showing up so much. On here but this is like a banana yellow and this is actually like the rose clay pink color but it's barely pulling away you can see right here I tried to unmold it and it pulled a piece of it away so it's not ready to unmold yet and according to everything I read it should be ready to unmold under 12 hours and that's definitely not the case so anyway when these are ready I will unmold them I might if the 
recipe I do today works out and I can unmold it in the morning, I'll do them both at the same time. Because I have um, a round cavity mold that I'm going to use for this upcoming soap. So I will see you in a bit. Have a great day.